The latest active case is being quarantined in Karegu, and according to Health Minister Nicola Steele, the individual arrived on a yacht via St. Martin and Martinique. Minister Steele says the individual and boat are under quarantine and observation. The health minister dismisses the notion or conspiracy that government is announcing new COVID-19 cases as a deterrent to the carnival-like activities ongoing on the weekends. Apart from people being cynical, people need to recognize, as I also announced yesterday, we have over 600 persons in quarantine. So holiday season or holiday periods, um, we usually see a surge in activities from people, but we also see a significant increase in visitors, which would coincide in increased probabilities of getting a positive case. Steele says Grenadians need to focus on the facts and the reality that COVID-19 and its variants are still here. He notes traditionally summer is the period where an intake of nationals and visitors is witnessed. We have SG opening up as well, but they are opening up to fully vaccinated persons to protect us as best as possible. So what they're seeing as a conspiracy theory is actually, it, it, it's a reality. It is bound to happen. Minister still did confirm that one of the recent cases was a variant. However, notes the highly transmissible Delta variant has not reached our shores. No, we don't have confirmation as yet. The three active cases, we are awaiting the sequencing um, from CAFA, which takes a couple of weeks, just about. Uh, uh, the previous active case, we received the sequencing information late last week, um, which confirmed that it was an alpha variant, which is a UK variant. The health minister, though, states it's only a matter of time. It is our hope that at that point, that once all protocols have been followed, uh, that we will remain as safe as possible. But our chances of, of, of a community spread resulting from somebody with the Delta variant are extremely high. He says government is not considering as yet the tightening of the curfew period. However, the situation is being continuously assessed. I am Jara Joseph for GBN News.